The golf course was built in 1964, Robert Trent Jones Sr. And then in 1995, his son Reese came in and built nine additional holes, so now we have 27. We've held USGA uh, Pub Links, uh, NCAA Regionals. We've done uh, several uh, championships, but there's always been a focus on amateur golf. Um, and certainly when you look at amateur golf, especially in the junior ranks, AJGA is pretty much the pinnacle. We're averaging just over 200 volunteers for our event for the past three years. Um, and for us to have the community come out and be part of the event and to see the golf course, it's, uh, it's certainly worth it on a number of different levels. Honestly, it's one of the easiest tournaments there to host. You guys come in early, do all the work for us. So we open the doors and take all the credit and it's, it's wonderful. It's always amazing to me how good the competitors are year to year. Um, you know, distance is not a, it's not even a factor to the players anymore. They just hit it so far and they're so good. I think people, um, they have to come out and see to really appreciate how good the juniors are now. So it's always exciting to see players and, uh, and to meet the families. Families are always great and how, you know, they typically come up and, and find me some point in the tournament and thank us for hosting and you know, it's just a great feeling. One of the things that is really good for these players is this is exactly how you know, we run a USGA event or I've been to several and officiated several uh, mini tour events. It's, it's very similar. So I mean I think it's going to uh, give them a really good glimpse of what golf is like after college, which I know several players uh, are thinking about that. It's fun to host it and it's certainly fun to take the uh, uh, take some credit, but really we do we do very little. I mean, you guys, you guys put the tournament on, and our community puts the tournament together. So, um, you know, it's it's much bigger for us than just a golf tournament.